by Cherina Claris Eshalias. A task force for the management of concerns related to the school-based dengue immunization program, where the Denvaxia vaccine was used, has been created by the Department of Health, DO. Concepcion Usop, a national immunization program manager, shows an anti-dengue vaccine Denvaxia inside a vaccine storage room in STA. Crew City, Metro Manila, Philippines December 4, 2017 Reuters slash Romeo Renoco slash Manila Bulletin On November 30, pharmaceutical company Sanofi Pasteur disclosed that Denvaxia was found to potentially cause a more severe case of dengue. The analysis confirmed that Denvaxia provides persistent protective benefit against dengue fever in those who had prior infection. For those not previously infected by dengue virus, however, the analysis found that in the longer term, more cases of severe disease could occur following vaccination upon a subsequent dengue infection, Sanofi said in a statement. A day after the Sanofi analysis came out, Health Secretary Francisco Duca III put the mass vaccination program on hold. The task force is composed of top management officials from the DOE Central Office and of the affected regions, along with the Food and Drug Administration, PhilHealth and the National Children's Hospital. This task force will conduct a thorough review of the Dengue Vaccination Initiative which started in March 2016 and the new evidence on safety provided by Sanofi. This shall guide the Department of Health in responding to the safety concerns relevant to the use of this vaccine and how to proceed with the Dengue program to ensure safeguards and prevent similar incidents in the future, Duca said. The DOE chief reiterated the agency's commitment to heightened surveillance and monitoring activities on all 830,000 students vaccinated with Denvaxia. The DOE will be hiring 30 additional surveillance officers to be deployed immediately to its hospitals in the four regions where the Dengue vaccination program was implemented. We will be deploying them immediately for active surveillance and data collection in these hospitals. Surveillance will be done for five years. This is part of our commitment to the parents and children who were immunized with the anti-dengue vaccines, Duca disclosed. The health department is currently updating the master list of children given Denvaxia in coordination with DOE field offices and the Department of Education. The official said task force on Denvaxia will have a legal team to look into the accountability of Sanofi Pasteur the company which marketed Denvaxia with an initial claim that the vaccine was safe and effective for all individuals aged 9 to 45 years. We will demand the refund of the P3.5 billion paid for the Denvaxia, and that Sanofi set up an indemnification fund to cover the hospitalization and medical treatment for all children who might have severe dengue, he noted. Duca also announced that PhilHealth is ready to cover the expenses of any child who may be hospitalized for severe dengue. PhilHealth's dengue case rate can cover up to P16000 for severe dengue which includes hospital and physician fees.